Hey guys, um, how you doing today? Um, I have some stuff that I want to talk about, but, uh, you know, I don't, uh, come on rehearsed or haven't written down anything, so I'm just going to jump right into it the best that I can. Bear with me. Okay, first of all, guys, if you've seen in my previous video, I had on these glasses in pink. Here they are in blue. And um, these are the blue bracelets that, um, oh my God, am I yelling? Sorry. These are the blue bracelets that, um, like the red ones, these were $1.99. They were in front of the checkout counter. They keep them in a box in the front of the checkout counter at the beauty supply store, if I haven't said it. Um, so these are the blue and these are the blue shades. Uh, let me take them off for you guys. Um, these have a darker blue on the sides. And these shades were $4.99. So, um, yeah. Um, I had a little bump here, so I made a mole out of it. The lipstick that I have on is called So Shard. So Shard, or is it that way, by MAC, and that's the color. I'm going to do like everybody else. Look, put my hand up and all of that. Um, so that's it. So Shard. So Shard. You know, a lot of people reviewed it. I've seen someone else had it on. And guys, I am... I only like the MAC matte lipsticks. I like matte lipsticks, guys. I don't like shine. I don't like grease on my lips. No can do. Um, okay. I am actually was getting ready to shoot a video. Um, my skincare part two. That's coming at you guys. As soon as the sun stays out for a reasonable amount of time. Um, as I said, I want to film it in the sun for a reason. Okay, let me finish going through. Just if anybody cares, okay? I'm not saying that people, oh, you checking for me like that to see what I got on and all of that. This necklace is from, the rain, is from Rainbows. These earrings are from Rainbows. They came on a set with another chain, but I only wanted to wear the earrings. Very reasonably, reasonably priced, guys. Rainbows. You guys know I am not a makeup artist, okay? But I have on this one. I love these shadows. These right here, I love them, but that's what I have on my eyes. I love this brand of shadow. That time that I made the purple lipstick... Uh, on my previous video that I called Purple Rain. These lipsticks, I mean these lipsticks, these um, eyeshadows go on so freaking smooth. You can do anything with them. I love them. I love them. Um, my eyebrows, guys, I bleached them with Jolene first. And then I filled them in with um, this NK pencil. You know, I just filled them in because it's, and that's a, uh, this is actually, oh, it's a lip liner, but I used it on my eyebrows. This guy's right here was $5.99 from Rainbows. Okay, don't sleep on Rainbows, guys. Don't sleep on Rainbows. My suggestion for Rainbows is this. Um, I had made a statement, don't hook up anything from head to toe from a certain, from these, um, lesser end stores. I have to take that back because the other day I had on head to toe rainbows. I looked fabulous. Yes, I said it. I looked fabulous. I looked great, guys. But how I topped it off was I had a um, fabulous pair of shoes on and a fabulous pocketbook. Okay. So that's that. Um, this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, okay, before I get into that, if anybody cares about what I have on my head, what I have on the top of my head, 
I have um, this is R&B collection style May. Uh, what is this May color RB35? Okay, that's the unit that I have on my head. I paid less than um, thirty-five dollars for it, something like that. Um. Okay. Now this cute pocketbook. I want to show you this, guys. This pocketbook here. Um, it has that, this is a bag I have sticking out for my video that I'm getting ready to shoot. But these are the handles. And the handles are long enough to go over your shoulder. My handles must go over my shoulder. I have to be able to carry my pocketbook on my shoulder. Okay, we, I'm not, you know, that's me. Um, has a lock. I love this. I love this, guys. I love this lock here. Very roomy on the inside. Um, and that's the bottom of it. Um, can you see it good? That's the side. That's the back. Um, back around to the front. Guys, you can't tell me this bag doesn't look like leather. Okay? Feels like leather. Feels like leather, guys. Okay? Okay? When you see that little red tag, what does that mean? Rainbows. Okay? Picked it up today. Absolutely, absolutely love it. They had it in this color. And they had it in black. The black didn't um, didn't scream out, take me off the shelf. Okay? So I got this color. Um, okay, guys. Let me get into what I want to talk about. Okay? And yeah, let me put back on my glasses. Okay? Um, okay. Guys, jumping right into it. Um... If you just here to check for me for uh, an outfit or something like that, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Uh, please come back and visit again, okay? But I want to get into this. Um, I'm on Keek, and uh, uh, there was a question of the of the day that one of my Keek sisters uh, put up. She puts up a question of the day every single day, and I'm calling her my Keek sister because truly. She is my Keek sister. Um, very mature conversation over there, okay? Um, the question of the day that she put up is why... I'm not going to quote it word for, for verbatim, but it was something like, why don't women compliment each other? Uh, let me get comfortable. Um, guys... We have to do better. We have to do better, guys. We have to do better. Um, look, guys, look, 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 look. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. As I said, I, I don't even know where to start with this conversation, but my thing is this. Especially here on YouTube. I just want to say this, guys. If you are inspired by someone, if someone has on something that you like, I thought that we are all on here to share, um, learn. I know I am. I got a head under this wig. I got a head full of natural, beautiful hair. What's so beautiful about it? It's mine, and it's growing out of my scalp. And before YouTube and the natural hair community, I didn't know, and neither did my mother when she was uh, raising me, what to do with all of this coily, kinky hair. So that's why today I love my hair, guys. I love it. The other day, oh, and I have to show you. I'll show it in the, um, in the uh, well, wait a minute. Let me go ahead and pull it out now. 
because as I said, I don't know if I'm going to get to my other, my skincare uh, video today because the sun is going down. This, guys, I washed my hair with this. And let me tell you, I've been co-washing. I'm not a shampoo user, but I, I, I purchased this and I used it. Guys, this stuff right here is excellent. Did not strip my hair. My hair was just as soft and manageable. Unbelievable. So getting back to what I was saying, I got a head full of hair that's growing on my head because of my YouTube sisters that schooled me on natural hair game. Okay? Okay, guys? I'm here on YouTube to share and to learn. If something comes from it, I'm open to it. Okay? Um, women, guys, we must, we must do better, okay? I'm going to tell you, and as I said on, um, I don't want to name names, um, this is a person that, um, has, not on YouTube, not on YouTube, but, okay, do I want to say that? No, I don't. I don't want to say that. As I was saying, guys, if you are inspired by someone and, and you're watching, you've watched their video and it was a, a, you learned something from the video, it was a great video, you are not, it's not mandatory that you leave a, a, um, a comment. It really isn't. Um, but if you, if you, if you want to and you desire to, please do, please do. I watch so many people on YouTube, and I am inspired by so many people on YouTube, I couldn't even name them all. And a lot of people that I watch and I learn from, I'm not even subscribed to them. There's, um, <sighs> one person in particular, I'm just going to say this, she does mostly makeup. Okay, her channel is really about makeup. She does have natural hair. She has gorgeous natural hair. And she does, um, I like to go over and see what she's doing if it's anything about natural hair. Her makeup thing, I'm not really interested in it because it's, um, it's, it, it's not makeup that I probably can do. Because I think she's a professional makeup artist, okay? So her channel is really, um, basically the majority of it is makeup. So, uh, the people that I'm subscribed to do a little bit of everything, or some of them do um, makeup that I can, you know, duplicate. <laughs> That's a little bit easier for me, and stuff like that. But, guys, sometimes I put up a video, and a person, I don't know who it is, they must have the video coming to their phone um, that I've alerted that I've put up a video. It's a thumbs down before I can even get the video up good. Now, does that bother me? Absolutely not. I'm glad you coming by and you checking on and you checking for me like that. Not even a problem. But the thing about it is when you think of it, it makes no sense because why are you checking for someone just to thumbs them down? You know what I'm saying? You, if you, on my channel, it says the majority of people who watch my channel are doing it on a mobile device. So, you out and about and you're going to stop your day and get on your mobile device to come and thumbs me down? Listen, as long as I get the view, as long as I get the view, guys, it really doesn't matter. if You, you can open up 10 accounts and thumbs me down. It's not even a, it's not an issue. It's not a problem. <sighs> But as we were saying on Keek, okay, because even Keek, there is some shade over there. Let me just tell you the, my thoughts on it, guys. This is my thoughts on it. Eyes, eyebrows are raised more to me when you can't give a compliment than when you're giving a compliment. And let me tell you, everything is not compliment necessary. Everything doesn't deserve a compliment, 
Okay, you can look up, look at a video and it doesn't deserve a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's just a video. Okay, so it's not about getting, I know I put up my videos. I appreciate it and I love it that people thumbs up and, com and, and, and comment on them. But is it, um... Am I is am I telling you that you have to thumbs up and comment on my video? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. My my video might not just struck a chord with you that particular video, but I feel that if maybe if you come back again, something else will. Um as I said guys, eyebrows are raised sometime when if you have a girlfriend, okay? Let me just just an example. If you have a friend, very good friend, and was supposed to be a very good friend. I'm just going to tell you this. If you are not encouraging to her. If you are not complimentary to her. If um, you're not supportive of her. Her eyebrows may be raised to you. Because um, don't think that people it's going unnoticed that you're not encouraging complimentary or giving your friend any real true friendship um that is why there's always a rift with women guys it takes nothing away from us it it i understand some women have not been brought up uh, to compliment each other. They've never been complimented by their mother, their father, their aunt, their grandmother, and all of that stuff. I got that. I got that. But guys, every day is an opportunity to break, to break whatever bad habits or, or, or traits or whatever, generational curses, whatever you want to call it, that was done. Okay? When you... um open your mouth it is when you encourage someone else when you compliment someone else you're empowering not only that person you're also empowering believe it or not yourself you're freeing yourself from that um behavior that is really guys negative it's very negative behavior okay um if you see something you like or you're inspired by something say it it's okay it's okay to say it. Nothing is going to happen bad to you if you compliment another woman. Okay? Now, me, personally, as you guys know, I, I, I was in a business that was based on, um, very superficial, but it was based on beauty. It was based on beauty. It was based on looks. Um... And when I tell you, you, when you're in the modeling business or entertainment business, women are so cutthroat. Very, very cutthroat business, as you guys know. But what I learned when I first entered the business was, her name was Phyllis Kewington, and she was my mentor. And one of the things that she told me, wasn't 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 told to me for any reason i was 20 years old she said to me and it stuck with me every day of my life you could never stop another person's success okay and the moment you get that through your head the better off you will all be okay i say that statement all the time I repeat that statement all the time, and it's in my heart. It's embedded in me. The moment you try to stop someone else's success, you've already stopped your own. Okay? I come from a business that I love other women. I love, I appreciate other women. I appreciate beauty. And when I say beauty, I'm not just talking about outer beauty, facial beauty, uh, uh, body beauty, even though, damn, did y'all see Serena Williams on, see, Serena Williams is my ideal of a beautiful body. That's a woman with a gorgeous body. I've seen her in person, and um, 
I, 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 I look at her ass just like I'm looking at uh, uh, um, a man would be looking at her ass. It's, it, it's fab, fantabulous. <laughs> the woman, the woman has um, incredible body. Okay, anybody who can, it's nothing wrong with appreciating another woman's body, another woman's personality. And let me tell you, people I'm subscribed to, they got some dynamic, dynamic personalities. Personalities. Okay? I, I'm not even going to name everybody, okay? Because um, I might leave somebody out and I don't want to. But I'm talking about the videos. Y'all know I'm on your videos. Always your videos have something to offer. Okay? Um... And also, guys, I love YouTube. You know, we hear a lot of people, YouTube ain't my life. <laughs> YouTube ain't hardly my life. I got kids. I got a husband. <laughs> I ain't on here all day long. Guys, I have no problems with saying I love YouTube. YouTube has, has, has been a wonderful vehicle of information for me. A wonderful source of connecting with other sisters. Okay? I don't have any sisters. I have one brother. So, um, yeah, I, I consider, when I say, when people be, might, be, might just come on here and say, my YouTube family, I really consider you guys my YouTube family. And I, I try to connect with you guys as much as I possibly can. Okay? And I got plenty, plenty of real family. Uh, with, with blood running through our veins. But I'm just saying, there's nothing wrong, guys, with saying you get an appreciation out of something. And um, reason, a lot of stuff, because of the question of the day and some other things, stem this conversation. If you guys um, know B. Scott, the um, personality B. Scott, the other day, I don't know, I was reading something or his name came up. And I went over to his page and I said, oh, let me go over. I used to watch B. Scott all the time. I said, let me see if B. Scott has put up a new video. And I was reading he hadn't. Uh, I think his last video could have been three months ago. But his videos now are about what he's doing. He's become, he was a YouTube sensation. And now he is a TV personality. And I think he is on a radio show Um and whatnot but um i was reading the comments on his last video and i seen that people are pissed off they are like look you know you got nerve we shared your videos we we, we, we were riding with you before you became a tv personality and now you can't even come in and, and make a video for us i think that even though if you Watch B. Scott. B. Scott never ever put a skirt on it or put or said that um, he didn't want to become a um, TV personality. So, um, but I do think it's wrong not to come back and say, even if you're busy, even if you're busy, to say, hey guys, um, I'm really busy. I'm living out my dream. Um, it's, 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 um, I'm having a wonderful time and I thank you guys for helping me get where I am. And yes, God up above is the main reason that I am where I am. But however, I thank you guys for watching my video, sharing my video and putting my name out there. I think that's the right thing to do. You know, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? B. Scott, wow. You know, come on and come on back and um, and say something to your fans who love you. Okay? You know, that's what I think you should be. That's what I think you should do. Okay. Um, what else do I want to say on this topic? Um, guys, I understand if you're not. I remember Oprah. I heard her say one day that um, she had to learn to to um, to hug. Oprah said she had to learn to hug. She wasn't hugged as a child. Um, they weren't affectionate in her household, and she had to learn how to hug, 
how to hug. Now it's easy for her when she sees her friends, her girlfriends, her uh, male friends to go up and hug. She doesn't feel like, uh, oh my God, why are you invading my space and so close to me? So, as I said, every day, guys, it's a day to do something different. To, um, for us to embrace each other. Um, for us to stop this nonsense with each other. Um, you know that show, um, R&B Divas. I don't know how many people watch it. But, guys, these girls are actually, every show, they're, they're arguing, they're fighting, they're bickering. They are doing everything but what God gifted them to do, okay? Everything but what God gifted them to do. Um, let me tell you something. If I was on that show, R&B Divas... I would, every show, I would find a way to let you guys know, if you don't already know, that I sing. As soon as I open my mouth, it would be, oh, do re mi fa fo. The producers would have to come over to me and say, Lisa, um, could you use your words? Could you use your words? Because uh, you can't sing every single line, okay? Because... I would be there to showcase my talent, not have time to argue, bicker, hate, and all of that other crap on another woman. Who, by the way, all of them girls can blow their behinds off. Every single one of them. I can't even say one is uh, better than the other one. Now, with Kiki... I did have an issue with her, and I said, damn, she's a silly woman. I don't, now listen, I don't condone and I don't like the way she talks to her husband. But I like in the last episode where she says, no, I'm not interested in going on tour with them because I don't have time for the drama. She's about making her coins. The woman has children to take care of. She said, I don't have, so I give her props and kudos for that. She ain't got time for the nonsense, okay? Guys, every single girl group has went under. It has went down. Because everybody wants to be Diana Ross. Guys, we have to... Listen, look how much money. Look how much... They, they can't even get together and go on a tour together. A tour together. They're not even singing on stage at the same time. They will be singing, their, doing their thing separately. And they can't even get it together. They stop it. We as women, we even stop our own money flow, our money, our coins from coming in. Because we're too busy hating, bickering, being uh, spiteful envious, jealous, and all of this stupidity, all of this nonsense, that we would even stop our own damn money from coming in. Think about it, guys. Men don't do that. Men don't do this. This is why half of the men think we're stupid. They don't listen to us when, when we talk. They look at us like we have two, three heads on our shoulders because you know why? Men do not get down I'm telling you, men don't get down like we do. We're the only people who are wasting our time, females, on pettiness, stupidity. That we we do it. we even even when we're, as they say, the old saying goes, to cut your nose off to spite your face. Guys, we got to do better. We 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 have to do better. Have to do better on Instagram. I, I'm looking at the posts. People are posting, oh, uh, uh, all kinds of BS because that's what it really is BS. Oh, you got you should be supportive, and uh, you know, them little sayings and stuff like that, them little uh, cliche statements that everybody, but in the meantime, you're not complimenting nobody, you're not saying anything nice about anybody. What is everybody just supposed to compliment you, guys? We have to do better. 
we have to do better. I am here to tell you from experience and from being in the modeling game, okay? I made a living at it for 25 years. And to, to say you made a living as a model with no other job, okay, for 25 years, that means you were doing something right. What was I doing right? I don't give a damn. I don't care what anyone else is doing to the point of to try to hurt them. I wasn't getting information in their house to try to find out um, things that's going on in, the, in their life. To, uh, I'm not known for gossip. Uh, even though, wait a minute, wait a minute, don't get me wrong. I love to gossip about the, the shows and talk to my girlfriends on the phone. Yeah, I love that. Love that. Love that. I And I ain't afraid to say it. I gossip. <laughs> I gossip. But I don't do malicious gossip. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm known for professionalism. Professionalism. Okay? Um, number one, and, and, and I know I come across sometimes as conceited. Sorry about that. But I'm, I'm also extremely humble. But I'm very confident in myself. Okay? And that's another thing. When you have confidence in yourself, and ladies, build up your confidence any way you can. I don't know how that's going to be done for you. Get your body to where you want it to be. Look at me. I'm, I'm working on my weight every single day. Every single day. But I never had, see, I don't have low self-esteem. I don't, I never had low self-esteem. I don't have low self-esteem. But I, I'm just saying, ladies, if y'all have an issue, something's going on, get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Look in the mirror and find something you like about yourself. Okay? Don't, um, don't dislike another woman. Another woman. Because she got something going on that you think you don't have going on. Okay? Because I'm, I'm just getting, I'm, I'm just getting, it's just, I'm getting, I, I'm just getting flummoxed at, at, at what is going on with women. What's going on with us women. And guys, I am not trying to say, uh, please don't get me wrong, like I'm trying to say I'm above but uh, 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 other people. I'm not trying to say that, but what I'm saying is, guys, when I see something that I admire or inspires me, that is exactly what I get inspired. I don't get jealous Okay, jealousy, guys, get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's an emotion that is not going to serve you well in your life. Okay, it's not going to serve you well in your life. Get rid of it. Don't be afraid to compliment other women. Okay, and we all got stuff to bring to the table. Okay, we all have stuff to bring to the table. Let's love on one another. Let's stop it with the um with the negativity towards each other. Let's stop it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't have room for it in my life. And I don't I don't mean to be cliché, but ain't nobody got time for that. They really don't. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I'm saying? You know, because on the real, we all busy. We all busy. Okay? I got a house full of kids. We all busy. Nobody got time for that, guys. Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? Let's 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 um do better. Let's do better. I'm sorry I am rambling and I am just all over the place with my um my emotions and my words because I didn't think about before I came on here I just wanted to talk about this but I didn't know how I was going to broach the subject uh, without making it too personal okay um And as I said before, guys, as far as the videos go, I'm on y'all on you guys' videos. 
I leave comments on you guys' videos. And like I said, everything, everything don't deserve a compliment or even a comment. But don't withheld, <laughs> don't withhold a, a, a compliment to somebody and, 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 and dislike their video just because of something as ridiculous as insecurity. Okay, and that's what it boils down to, guys. It's insecurity. And as I said before, trust me. Trust me. I'm telling you. And my family, my cousins and I, we discuss it all the time. Women, other women recognize when you're not, when they, when you, they're supporting you and you're not supporting them. Okay, they recognize. Don't think just because, uh, I'm not going to tell her, her hair look nice. <laughs> she thinks she all that with her hair. You know, look at her with her. Uh-huh. And she, and her husband uh, bought her another car. Uh-huh. You know. But guys, the per that person, that person, don't get mad at their blessings. Okay. Don't get upset by that. And I'm telling you, they know in their heart that you are hating on them. <laughs> they know. They know. They know. They know. They know that 10, 15 people, that know, they've noticed their new car. 10, 15 people have noticed their new hairdo. 10, 15 people have noticed their 25-pound weight loss. 10, 15 people have walked into their brand new home and said, Oh my God, you have a lovely home, girl. And trust me, that friend of yours, they recognize that you're the only one that has not complimented them on what they got going on. Okay? Anyway, okay, um... I'm not going to be able to make my skincare part two video today because the sun is completely gone. But let me let me just say this quickly. If you if you're still there and I haven't lost you. On this is why I can't rush guys. I don't like rushing. I don't like rushing because I'm not uh, getting the information out to you guys. On my skincare video, and this is for um, guys who watch my skincare video, that will be part one. I am doing a part two. When I showed you this sponge and I said that I use this as my towel, I wish that I would have explained it to you that I use this as my towel. This is an exfoliating sponge. Guys, this is wonderful. I got this, uh, I think I got this from Target. But look for an exfoliating sponge. And the reason I use this, I use this on a daily basis. And guys, I go up under my arms, get all that deodorant out, out of there. My legs, this is, this buffs your body. It buffs your body. Your skin will be so soft and clean by using this. So I wish I would have explained that. But I'm doing it now. Uh, another thing guys. That I didn't show you. This one I got from the body shop. And I had this one for years. Now I told you. I was using the toothbrush. But I also have this. In my medicine cabinet. And this is truly. A face brush. This is a face brush that very, very gentle, very, very gentle. And this is what you actually use on your face and, um, you know, all over that you need it. And it just folds. And um, so that is a true facial brush. And um, I will get into my um, part two video sometime this weekend whenever the... Um, the sun comes out and I can uh, do it. Okay. Because the things that I have to show you. I think it would be better to show you outside in the sun. So you can really get the true. Um, 
the true um the thoroughness of what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling now, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Okay, signing off.